It would be nice to make a painting over here. Hello guys, my name is Doke and I am... I am a little bit stressed. Let me explain why. Today it's Friday and in the beginning of this week I got an invitation to a project, interesting project. But it was a bit of a short notice because the project, well I need to paint my part today and tomorrow. Which doesn't sound as a problem at all but this whole week I've been working on the new stickers pack, which is coming pretty soon. And also, the new merch. Um, th this is the old one, I I'm preparing a new one, but yeah, these two things took all the time this week. And right now it's Friday morning. Let's do a quick preparation. Long story short, the person who approached me, her name is Barbara and she's from VŠMU, which is an artistic school over here in Bratislava. She is uh, writing me regarding a film festival that is taking place the next week. One last thing, the theme of this festival is no borders. We want to crush stereotypes and so on. No borders. We're crushing the borders. That's the theme. So now you know all I know and I have only 30 more hours for the preparation, including the uh, preparation of the colors and everything. So let us start. I don't know. Right now I'm thinking about the topic and about the students. I've been actually commissioned to do a painting with a very similar topic about three years ago. And this painting ended up in the city center of Berlin on a historical building and thousands of people have seen that painting. And so right now I'm thinking about no borders. How do I express that with color and shapes? Simple shapes. I want students, when they see the painting, I want them to think, hell yeah, this is what I stand for. Okay, um, I prepared a design. I like the idea, but I'm not sure if I like how it looks. There is no time for plan B, so I decided to discuss the design with the students at the spot. All right, it's um, almost two o'clock, so I'm one hour late almost, but I I'm here. This is the place, this is the school with this very cool mural on the side. That mural should already give you a good idea about what's going on inside. But anyways, we better go and start working. So this is the foyer of the school and this is my victim, this is the wall. The first thing I noticed when I arrived is that this logo is made of a tape. I've been impressed by the clean lines and yeah, it's a tape. Another thing that I noticed is that this is not a wall, this is just a piece of wood that is fixed to the wall with whatever and yeah we're gonna put it down and i'm gonna paint on a wall not on this uh pink uh pink all right so let's remove it all right the wall seems just fine there are some holes but that's not a problem at all
suddenly I'm alone over here. And the first lines are there. I just need to get rid of the dual grid. Okay, I'm wondering how would I do this alone? film school they even got their own cinema and I'm painting right in front of the cinema that's nice voila ah there are holes in it it would be nice to make a painting over here anyways it's getting late it's 7 p.m friday evening so yeah i told you before that i need to finish this during a weekend but it turned out that it's not necessary that i can come on monday which is great i can have a weekend so yeah one last thing before i leave i want to remove the tape because i'm a little bit afraid that the color that the color got below the tape okay it didn't there is a different problem the tape is removing eh yeah the wall isn't in the best condition the school is not in the best condition let's see if this happens also over here uh, it's not that bad it might be caused by the fact that this color was still wet but it's not that bad Ooh, you, 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 you. Cool, not that bad. <laughs> Definitely the first attempt. All right, see you on Monday. Fucking hell. As I said before, this is the problem of the color that was already here. I'll probably need to use something else, something different than a tape. All right, let's try to repair it. For sure the structure will look like this, but this is an indoor painting, so the pieces of color shouldn't fall apart. But anyways, it's not really ideal. All right, let's do the all the good freehand.
not so bad for a freehand. Hmm? say that doing this with brushes without the tape is a fucking pain in the ass. Right now comes the real pain in the ass, cleaning all these sharp lines with brushes. Eternity later. All right, um, that uh, colorful uh, something is finally done. It's been a tremendous pain in the ass. And there is one last step to do, which is pretty sketchy because I need to outline that camera there. There is absolutely no space for mistakes. Let's do it. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I gotta say that this been more difficult than I expected. It actually took me nine hours today and about five hours yesterday to finish this painting. And some of you might say that the design isn't really, isn't all that super duper eye-catching or bombastic or whatever, but I like it. Especially when I think about the topic that I got, I really like how the design communicates the message. No borders, no boundaries. And I'm also really happy that I 
helped the students. I wish them all the best during their film festival that is coming this weekend. And I hope that my painting will make this festival a little bit better, righty? Guys, if you enjoyed this video, Tamba would be awesome as always. And this is it. Long story short, the person who approached me, Barbara. So now you know all I know. Um, so now you know. So.